Nama saya Wahyudin, umur 12 tahun. Jika besar nanti saya ingin jadi pemain bola. Nama saya Darwane, kelas 2, umur 8 tahun. Cita-cita saya menjadi pilot. Like all children, Wahyu and Darwani can't wait to grow up. They have big dreams of leaving this fishing village on the outskirts of Jakarta and leading a better life. But their chances of doing so are slim, because as far as the government is concerned, Wahyu and Darwani don't exist. There are millions of people like them all across Indonesia. Children who don't have the right to free education, free health care, and other services because their parents didn't register them at birth. Wahyu is one of the lucky ones. Through a charity, he has been able to attend school. But he thinks football is far more interesting. Religiously practicing with his dad since he was little, even the rain can't stop them. And there's no denying the kids got talent. Wahyu itu kemauan bola tuh kayaknya si jago pak. Sering dipanggil sama gurunya. Cuma kadang-kadang ya begitu. Pulang lagi kenapa Wahyu? Enggak punya akte pak. Katanya enggak boleh. For Wahyu and his family, football could be their ticket out of poverty. Opportunities in this slum are few and far between, and this one is in danger of slipping away. Jadi disayangin sama gurunya juga. Ini main bolanya cakep, cuma nggak punya waktu, nggak punya akte, nggak bisa ikut. Jadi itulah yang sering pulang nangis saya yang bikin sakit tuh. Masya Allah kata saya, gimana ini? Masalah akte aja jadi kendala. Martin told us he has been trying to get Wahyu and his younger brother birth certificates, but he can't afford the fees. Ngurusnya sih nggak susah pak, kalau ada dana sih mungkin bisa aja ya. Mahal tapi. Iya, teman saya juga ngurus pak. Bikin itu aja empat ratus, terus iya, terus bayar itunya, bikin yang ngurus ini semuanya satu juta dua ratus habis. The process of obtaining a birth certificate in Indonesia can be convoluted and costly. Parents have 60 days to apply for one after their child is born. During this time, it's free. But after two months, they have to pay a million rupiah, about a hundred US dollars. And if they wait longer than a year, they will also have to go through the district court. Many of Indonesia's poorest citizens cannot read or write, so they don't understand the procedures. Feeling it's all just too complicated, they frequently fail to register their child's birth. Derwani was allowed to attend public school after a local charity persuaded the principal. He's a model student. Come rain or shine, when it's time to go to class, this fisherman's son is always excited. But without a birth certificate, Derwani can't graduate from grade school and won't be able to continue his studies. Jadi saya tuh mau bikin sampai sejuta dua ratus, kita duit dari mana, orang kerjanya aja selebihnya makan tuh kita tuh susah, susah namanya lebihnya sedikit-sedikit buat kepentingan bajunya, apanya gitu. Derwani's mother knows he is set for a hard life. Children without birth certificates often struggle to find work when they're older and with no official record of their existence, there is an increased risk of falling prey to human traffickers. According to Plan International and UNICEF, Indonesia has one of the worst track records in the world when it comes to registering its children. 60% of kids under the age of five do not have birth certificates. This disparity is among the highest in the world. This is Firman. He and his wife also live in the slum. They were madly in love when they met. They got married and soon after had Alif. 
and for a while, everything was perfect. Then one day, Firman noticed the problem. Kalau udah aktif, udah. Gede kan semakin gede, makin bengkak kan. Kalau udah kenceng, keras sekali, dipegang aja dia sakit. Udah diem. Paling, pak, sakit. Sakit dia udah. Tidurin. Kalau ingin diemban, diajak jalan-jalan. Keluar main di jajan. Alif has a severe case of hernia and is in need of an operation. Firman brought his son to the public clinic, but was turned away because Alif as well is unregistered. As a dog hand, Firman earns just two dollars on days he can get work. He doesn't have the money or the know-how to get Alif a bird certificate. This is the conundrum that Indonesia faces as the government is trying to better the lives of millions of its poor people with policies such as free schooling and free health care, programs that are desperately needed for people like Alif, Derwani, and Wahyu. Ironically, they are the very same people that don't qualify because of a piece of paper. But there is help for some. Tucked away in the narrow streets of one of the poorest neighborhoods in Jakarta is this makeshift school founded by a Catholic charity. Today, the kids are performing a play. Some goof around while others are serious. But the message is clear. School is both fun and necessary. Kami hanya ingin memberikan motivasi saja, menginspirasi saja pada anak-anak itu. Di sini sebagai tempat apa namanya untuk Anak-anak itu punya mimpi. Coba kalau kita tanya anak-anak di sini, kamu cita-citanya besok ingin jadi apa? Pasti tidak punya cita-cita. Lalu tidak pernah berpikir ke depan itu mau jadi apa, mau pengen jadi apa. Tidak pernah seperti itu. Nah, kita akan menemukan supaya anak-anak itu punya punya mimpi itu. The school was built in 2002. So far, it has helped pay for about 200 kids from the slum to study in the nearby private school. But program coordinator Yosef Marsudi says that if these children don't get birth certificates, future generations will be affected as well. Mereka tidak punya kelengkapan data-data yang dibutuhkan, syarat-syarat yang dibutuhkan. Itu tadi. Kalau uh, mungkin dia nggak punya uh, apa surat lahirnya, itu nggak ada. Ada surat lahirnya, tidak ada surat uh, nikahnya orang tua itu That's why Yosef conducts this awareness class to help parents in the area obtain birth certificates for their children Their one is mom is in attendance today The foundation is part of Jakarpak a consortium of NGOs lobbying the government to reform the child registration system Max Andrew is one of its driving forces. Idenya itu adalah soal tata akta kelahiran itu. Akta kelahiran bagaimana mereka sulitnya sekali mendapatkan akta kelahiran saat itu. Dan saat itu banyak orang-orang yang tidak punya akta kelahiran. Max, now 26, has been working with street kids since he was 13. He says one of the main reasons why children lack opportunities is because they're not registered. Yang perlu dilakukan pemerintah selama ini kita masih melihat sistemnya adalah bahwa masyarakat yang harus aktif mengurus akta kelahiran itu, bukan negara yang harusnya aktif. Itu. Nah, terus pemerintah merasa menyamakan semuanya bahwa oh ya udah nih sekarang harus punya akta kelahiran dan sebagai padahal dia nggak melihat dulu sistem yang dulu tuh buruk. Here in the capital, the Jakarta city government has started to make changes. During his time as governor of Jakarta, Indonesian President Joko Widodo made birth certificates free of charge. But parents still must register their children within the year. But activists say the lack of information on the change, coupled with systemic corruption that still haunts Indonesia, has made it almost impossible for millions to obtain their basic rights. From the service point of view is we have to look at 
the accessibility of the services to the community. If we look at most of the services is located at the province or district level, which is, you know, well, it's free of charge, but then you have the transportation cost, for example. So that's, you know, how do we make the services accessible to the community? That's on the service uh, point of view. But that on the demand side as well. So how uh, do we make the people aware the implications, the legal implications of birth registration? So making it as Im uh, important as well. Progress might be slow, and stopgap solutions like Yosel's program has often become the only hope for children like Wahyu, Derwani, and Alif. But advocates are pushing for reforms to the system so these kids can get the chances they so desperately need.